Hey everybody, I'm Steve at Blackstar. Welcome to May's webcast on home recording. Thank you for joining us this evening. Um, just to let you know what gear we are going to be using tonight, um, we've got one of our rather new lovely Artist 30 combos here, which is a, a recent Valve addition to our range of products. And for recording wise, we're going to be using uh, the iPad and GarageBand, which is a, one of the earliest platforms for home recording, I guess. We've got a little focus right interface here which we'll be using and also we've got our beam bass electric acoustic music all in one box and also we've got our brand new id core high powered 150 combo here to use as well and i'm hoping to utilize uh, some of the features of each throughout this uh, small presentation um, but just to give you a bit of a background on on the artist series uh, there's two in the range there's a 15 watt 1 by 12 and a 2x12 30 watt combo available at the moment. Um, two channels, but typically you'd normally get a clean and a dirty channel on an amplifier, but this time what Blackstar have done is really focused on building a product for the pedal guitar player that likes using stomp boxes and so on. So with this you've got two choices of clean, which is really, really nice. Um, the first channel is very simple, it's just a volume and a tone control. And this more this is more of a kind of um, class A kind of British style barking clean sound if you like. Um, channel two is a little bit more going on. You've got bass, middle, treble as well as gain and volume um, for that specific channel. And Black Star's infinite shape feature, the patent ISF at the end of the chain there, um, which is more of a class A B if you like, more of an American style sound with a little bit more grit if you push the volume level and the gain. And then we've got master reverb and master volume as well. So the nice thing about these products is that they sound great for vintage guys, blues and rock guys, but if you just keep it clean and drive anything with high gain in the front it works really, really well. Um, for me at the moment we're just going directly in because I'm feeling the sounds of the amplifier itself, just direct. It's sometimes nice just to plug your guitar direct into an amp and play around, but because we've got a master volume on this, you could easily use this at home for recording. So we're not particularly loud in here today, but um, this will absolutely blow the roof off most venues if you're if you're on stage with it. But also for recording, you can turn the master down and drive each channel accordingly to to the sound you're after. Um, let me show you some sound bites. So this is the first channel, which is quite clean from the outset. Even if we push the volume on that specific channel all the way up, it's still really clean. Really nice, just a perfect platform for any pedal really. Onto the second channel, I've got the gain roughly about one o'clock, so there's a little bit more grip there, um, but by no means is it high gain. Let's just shoot back and forth so you can hear that difference again between the two channels. If I drive the second channel, you do get a bit more bite, as we said, but by no means is it super high gain. Mm -hmm. 
If I switch my guitar to humbuckers, you do get a bit more grit, of course. Let's go to the bridge, so we're really pushing it there. Full gain on second channel, bridge, humbucker. <laughs> nice classic blues or, or rock tone there but you can imagine hopefully putting a boost pedal through the front end or a drive to give it a bit more amazing sound um, so yeah let's maybe um, try and record something um, I've already got a preloaded drum track which is a just a simple groove and the first thing I'm going to do really is a, a nice rhythmic track uh, using the artist amp so let's see what we come up with. I kind of like that lick I was doing previously with just some just some basic chords if you like. That kind of vibe. So let's uh, let's see what we can come up with. sounds pretty good so should we take a quick listen let's see how it sounds that sounds pretty good to me so far um, I think I mentioned this before but we're using a couple of monitors here just to uh, monitor what I'm doing as if you were at home with your own small studio monitors as well. So I'm happy with that. Let's maybe try and look at a bass line. Okay, so you can see I've got a, a bass guitar with me now and I'm going through the Black Star Beam which is a, a desktop amplifier um, for the home user really. Um, and it's a really lovely bit of kit. It's made from a really nice wooden cabinet. Each speaker inside is encased in its own wooden cabinet as well, which is ported. Each speaker, which is stereo, of course, um, is tuned to the cab. The whole ton of R&D went into this product to make it absolutely the best it can possibly be. And it's, uh, BEAM is an acronym, if you're not already aware of that, Bass Electric Acoustic Music. It's a Bluetooth speaker. It's a guitar amplifier with many, many different stars of sounds from clean to scream. There's a couple of acoustic simulators in there, there's two uh, two preamps for an acoustic electroacoustic guitar and two for a bass as well. Um, and you can use it for USB recording, you can use it in conjunction with our Insider software as well for deeper editing and using the phrase trainer and all that stuff and sharing patches with people around the world. Um, and most importantly it has Blackstar Super Wide Stereo which really uh, immerses you in uh, like almost like playing in a stadium the sound is bouncing around the room almost like a three-dimensional sound for your effects like reverb and delay and so on um, but I want to really show you uh, just how good the bass side of things can be which is something we don't often uh, focus on um, so we have two bass voices one classic and one modern sound so at the moment this is the first voicing which is more of a classic bass sound if you like the second voicing is more of a, a modern sound with more of a kind of click to it.
quite a different sound there, but we're going to stick with the first one. That's what I'm feeling for this specific track. A bit more of a vintage blues style sound, if you like. Um, but there are some effects as well. Um, if you're used to the effects on the ID section, you'll know that the, the first four segments are for reverb, but obviously bass and reverb isn't really a useful thing for for most um, so we've put four styles of distortion in there um, but the interesting thing is the segment becomes a blend control between a wet and a dry mix for your clean tone and your distorted tone which sits underneath so you can get some really interesting sounds for example the the primary sound that you'll hear now is a very clean tone very much a clean tone if I just add a distortion in which is just a small mix of it You can no doubt hear that undercurrent of overdrive, which is really useful for recording if the track uh, suited it. You know, so you can almost get your mini desktop Blackstar beam amp to sound like it's going through a huge 8x10 stack and rumbling and pushing and compressing. Um, also, we've got an envelope filter in there, which is a new effect for the modulations. Um, if you're into Bootsy Collins and funk music, that's awesome to use, but for now we're just going to keep it dry, I'm just going to play along with the chords that I've put down and uh, we'll see how it sounds. Okay, so let's have a listen back to that and see if the levels are all good. Sounds pretty good to me, sounds good so far. Um, just to let you know, while I was using the beam, um, we basically bypassed the Focusrite interface um, and we're just going direct from the USB output of the beam into uh, a camera extension kit which is supplied by Apple. Um, and you can get these from Apple Store or online. Um, and it allows me to have a USB to lightning connection for my iPad simple but we're we're demonstrating the possibilities of using the beam via USB to any any door so you can use it with anything like that you've got on your laptop and any any programs and so on so that sounds pretty good um, to finish things off with some lead work or some melodies melodies over the top we're gonna look a little closer at the brand new Blackstar ID Core 150 combo here Okay, so now we're on to the brand new ID Core 150. Um, these amps are brand new to Blackstar's range. They were launched recently at the Music Messer show in Frankfurt, Germany, and um, so far so good. Everyone that's heard them has been absolutely raving about them. Um, just to let you know a little bit of spec about the products, there's two in the range, both of which are using 2x10 speakers, and they're very, very ultra lightweight. So these are ideal for the gigging musician in mind because ID Core, the initial range of that um, entry level combo style was basically a 10 watt, a 20 and a 40 watt. So now we've done the high powered stuff because people were asking, oh, can I gig the 40? And to be honest with you, that small range of combos was really built for home. It's got full range speakers in there, ideal for recording, home practice, listening back to audio. 
Um, but these have got proper guitar speakers in, they're proper loud speakers. So um, we've kept that lightweight thing in mind, so this is going to be really easy to carry to back and forth to the gigs and practice rooms. We've still got super wide stereo, USB for recording and connectivity. Um, we've got an effects loop on there, a stereo effects loop, um, emulated stereo line out, full EQ this time, uh, and all the great features that are typically part of ID Core. Um, in addition to that, we've got a built in looper uh, with 30 second looping time, so you can literally record something clean and then change a channel or a preset with your foot switch and you can get a, a nice lead sound over the top and when you record an overdub it doesn't take away that 30 seconds it's still an uh, infinite amount of overdubs with that 30 second period and lastly we've got a built in Octaver in there which is a new thing for Black Star again that gives you a little bit more than just one sound there's a low or a high octave to choose from uh, and you can mix between the two and have a little blend of two as well and also there's a wet and a dry mix between your original guitar signal and the octave so for example, you could have um, a little smidgen of the high octave uh, with a minimal mix to make your clean guitar sound like a 12-string Rickenbacker for that 60s kind of flower power vibe. Or you can turn the octave really low uh, and have a lot of mix so you can basically make your guitar sound like you're part of Royal Blood or Muse or something like that or Jack White, just some interesting guys that use octave. In, a, in an interesting way. So lots of opportunities with this. But for now I'm just going to put a couple more kind of tracks on this uh, song. Um, the first one we're going to go for is more of a, a picking uh, clean sound which is something like this. Just adding a bit more glue to the track before we play something which is uh, lead related, lead guitar related. So uh, let's see what we can do. Let's have a listen back to that to see how it sounds and feels. It's working for me so um, let's try another track and just to let you know as well we're using the USB out directly into the iPad as well similar to what we did with the beam okay so to finish things off um, I'm just gonna do a lead guitar track now to add to the song um, but I've set myself up a couple of presets um, which I'm using with the uh, floor, floor controller to change so I've got um, I can go from my clean sound which we've just put down <laughs> to a slightly uh, semi-driven rhythmic tone which will work well uh, for lead as well if it was a subtle blues style sound and then I've got a high gain at the end of it as well but also I can add with my control pedal uh, I can add a delay in there as well which will work midway through soloing maybe Which 
which has got the super wide stereo on, which sounds really, really lovely. Um, so let's see what happens. So let's see how that feels. So as you can see that sounds pretty decent really and we've not tried to mix it or EQ it really in any, any detail um, but by utilising you know, such powerful products like the Artist Series at lower volume at home, um, the Beam which is really a, the central hub for the home guitar player and the brand new ID Core High Powered 150 which again is really built for gigging but again you can keep it really low for recording at home and utilising the USB and all the other features. As always Blackstar is trying to help you, the guitar player at home, find the best tools you can. So I hope that this has been a little bit educational for you. Um, any of you that are writers, home recording, hopefully it's been, hopefully it's been helpful. So we'll see you very soon. Thanks for watching and uh, I've been Steve at Blackstar. Cheers.